Let's talk today about bulk product changes and how they can be done in a few clicks. I've told enough about product mass changes earlier, but I haven't mentioned the main feature that allows you to bulk update data, multi-editors. It is the name for a few editors that help you fill metadata, specify a manufacturer, make process more friendly like 999 instead of 10 or 194 instead of 200 and many more. As always, I will play with my dummy store and store manager application. You can use some better database of a store manager, here it can be said, or make a backup to be able to roll back in case of wrong steps or results apply. Today I'm going to show you how to send manufacturer, special prices, meta information in bulk, so you will find out how to make mass changes in no time. Before you make any bulk modifications, you need to keep in mind that you can filter products by any criteria and make mass changes to products you need. Check my previous videos to find how to use filters. I will select all products that belong to Nike brand with the help of pre-save filter. You can also use column headings to select our products having Nike in their name. So the first multi-editor tool I would like to show you is product multi-editor. It allows to update product information like name, description, prices, images, product status, and more. The main idea of the form is that you can set some value for all products, or add some text to existing values, or map fields together if any data are missing. As you can see, I do not have manufacturer specified yet, and I will set it up now for a number of products. As I have filtered all Nike products, I will select the manufacturer to Nike. To do so, select products. You can use Ctrl plus A buttons or just scroll down to select them all. Then open Product Multi-Editor from the Context menu or from Product Toolbar. In the Manufacturer field, select Nike. Tick the box next to this field to apply changes and press OK. We can see logs with confirmation that the process was performed correctly. Product Multi-Editor also allows you to change prices by percentage or value for thousands of products at once. Currently, goods we are going to modify are priced differently and have no special prices specified. Let's view any of them on our side. Keep in mind this product. We'll return to it later. Now, I go back to Store Manager and select multiple products. I'll try to increase sale price by 10% and afterwards set special price decreasing it, let's say by 20%, comparing to product's regular price. First. I'll increase my sale price. To do so, I select Goods to adjust prices for and open Prices tab of a product multi-editor. Now, next to Price field, I set the following rule. It will increase the price by 10%. Field value means the current price value will be increased by 10%. Other simple arithmetic rules can be applied here as well. In case you have any specific rule, use it the same way as you would do it in Excel. Do not forget to select Update checkbox and apply changes. Now prices are increased. You can see it in the price column. Now I will add special price to my products. I open Product Multi Editor again and next to special price I set formula. It will take current product price, decrease it by 20%, and received value will be set as special price. Apply changes. A few more seconds. Now we can check changes at site. We go back to the product that we've checked earlier and refresh the page. As you can see, the price was increased, crossed, a new special price was set. It. You can apply those rules depending on your marketing policy, set various markups for different price ranges, set dates when special price starts, when it expires, and more. Additionally, I see that I do not have meta information filled in. Let's set it together. For this, I will use expression. It is SQL statement and calculations. It sounds complicated, but actually it is not so bad. You can use the same calculations as you use in Excel for numeric values and some simple rules for text mapping. Let me select multiple products. Go to Products Multi-Editor and we are ready to set meta title here. As you know, it should be unique. So you cannot just specify the same value 
as we've done with manufacture, we need to apply some smart rules here. There is a button with three dots that help you create the rule. In this window, you can find hints and check the rule before you apply it. For example, let's map together name, color, size, and specify as metadata here. They will be unique as most likely. You will not sell goods of exactly the same model and size and color at one store. To perform the task, we need to use concat function that allows to map all the necessary text values. You can see explanation on how concat function works in the yellow hints below. So I type concat attribute and if you hit control space, you will see hints what to do next. You can see the list of attributes values can be retrieved from. I need name to be added first. I select attribute name like this. Now, before I specify next attribute, I need to add some punctuation. It is added in quotes and a value can be added like this. I will add dash. I guess it will fit good here. Do not forget to add spaces before and after dash symbol. Now I add color and size attributes the same way, using their attribute codes, which are sneakers color and sneakers size. I will detach them by comma, as I think it will look better this way. The tick expression is done. I use product attributes and one statement, concat. Note that this section is case sensitive and attribute macros should be capitalized and attribute codes need to be exactly the same as an attribute section. To see if I've done everything right, I can use execute expression option. It will perform the mapping for the first selected item and show the results without applying it. It is like a preview, so I can see if I've done everything correctly. Now, I should enable update box to apply changes and hit OK. Logs are shown after each mass operation and display whether changes were applied accurately. We can check one of our products and see if meta title filled correctly. Here I have my product name, color and size. You can add manufacturer, store name or any other value you need to metadata. Also, you can set your meta description in the same way as we've just done for meta title. But I'd recommend to use short description and manufacturer name for this field. I hope you've got the point of how to use product multi-editor. The same rules can be applied in inventory multi-editor. It is dedicated to inventory management and allows you to set quantity, stock availability and other inventory updates. For example, I will add notification about low quantity to the selected product. If quantity is below 2, I want to get notification via email. I just set 2 and update values. A few seconds and this option is enabled for all selected products. You should be patient with those options, as in most cases they are set in your configs, so keep in mind that changes are made to specific items, but not to your Magento configuration. For more rules or expressions, please add comments and I will help you to make the rules you need. The only thing I should mention is that complex rules are offered for additional fee. I hope you had a great time with me and now you know how to bulk change product data. I will keep you updated about new features so subscribe to my channel. And do not forget to request free trial version of Store Manager for Magento to try it with me during my next video. Bye.